Here's a special event making news around the parish. After several years of planning, researching, and designing, the history of St. Charles Parish Mural was recently completed and dedicated at Cascio's Food Villa in Destrehan. In attendance for the ceremony were residents, elected officials, as well as members of the St. Charles Museum and Historical Association who first proposed the project as part of the parish's bicentennial celebration in 2007. Needless to say, this has been a very, very long journey. We've been wanting to have a mural representing the history of St. Charles Parish created for many, many years. After the pictorial history of St. Charles Parish was public, published, we again revisited the possibility of having this become a reality. It was decided that the pictorial history timeline would form the basis. And as you can see, the timeline is below um, to help you walk through the history. Deciding what to include was very difficult as the timeline covers well over 300 years. And so we decided that the major or most significant events affecting our parish should be represented. The artwork is intended to educate residents about their heritage and its location is as significant as the piece itself. We're meeting here today on what has been designated as the Mile of History. Some of you may know that, some not. As early as 1973, the stretch from basically Vans Lane all the way to Destrehan Plantation was so designated in conjunction with the 250th anniversary of St. Charles Borromeo. A little later on in 2007, the parish council, at our request, officially designated the area as such. The thing that impressed me most about this mural, it takes us from the early history when the Indians were here, to even to our, our uh, cypress, our Tidewater Cypress Swamps that you see these logs, lo logs here at the bottom, to the Louisiana Purchase. And it also takes us to the Sportsman's Paradise, where we hunt and fish and crab and fish for a living. Our music and our culture and at St. Charles Bomeriel Church, Dextran High School, and of course, up to the modern day today of the uh, Hale Boggs Bridge. What a vision. Muralist Hans Geis and his family were also on hand for the event. Geis spoke about the creative process in the making of this piece and expressed his appreciation for being chosen for the project. After meeting and speaking with so many wonderful people in this town, I've learned so much more even while working here in the last couple of months. It is with great honor and humility that I was selected to receive this commission for this project, and I hope that I have succeeded in accurately portraying your vision. It is with all sincerity that I give my thanks to God, to the board, and all members, to the people of St. Charles Parish, my family and friends, and to those who came to lend a helping hand. For more information on this, and other events going on throughout the parish, visit www.stcharlesparish-la.gov.